Mercury and Pisces in the first house. You need a better you need to be in a space of developing new ID, new ways of thinking, dreaming, and fantasizing about your personality and your personal beliefs and your personal dreams to expand. You're gonna expand with this. What's gonna help you is bring a little earth towards this. You got a whole lot of water going on right now. So you need to add a little bit of earth, which is Virgo in your seventh house. You basically need to have a new perspective on what you're dreaming about and fantasizing about and relating it with a person, place, a thing, and of course, adding a little practicality with it, a routine with it, and you basically need to harmonize in that area. Mercury and Pisces in the second house. You are going to have opportunities to value and fantasize about your um, resources, your financial endeavors. You might basically be on the verge of thinking about a new car or wanting to drive around and shit. You basically need to fantasize about that. You're going to have opportunities about that. So get stubborn and rude in that area about that, which is the space. And what's going to help you is basically the eighth house. Getting real deeply connected towards this on your mind. Feel me? Add a little deep routine towards your resources and your material. And, of course, what you're trying to accomplish, accomplish on the side. You might get a brand new car. So, yeah, you're Aquarius. Send it. Also, third house. You're going to be placed into a situation of learning how to fantasize and dream about the environment that you're in, the surroundings that you're in, the people that you connect with, feel me? So you need to have the right individuals, the right friends, the right people, places, and things, the right individuals that you can have a um, go-to when it comes to your um, persona. What's going to also help you is going to be your ninth house, which is your morals, your principles, feel me? Have, use a little bit of faith, belief, and imagination towards whatever you believe in to basically help you grow when it comes to your surroundings, your environment, and your friends, and people, places, and things that you're basically trying to equip with and work with. Fourth house, you're going to basically have a gift to put yourself into a situation of fantasizing about your home, your family, things that make you feel comfortable, things that brings peace and variety into your space, into your arena, feel me? You're going to have a new way of basically coming equipped with that. What's going to basically help you is your 10th house, your, your goals, your business, your career. Broadcast that shit. Make that shit public. Make that shit known and put it out there. And of course, that's going to help you during this transit with this Mercury and Pisces. Mercury and Pisces in the uh, fifth house. You're going to be placed into a situation of misunderstandings and deep changes when it comes to fantasizing about your creativity, your talents, your gifts, and your alternative natures. What you basically need to do in this area is you need to fantasize about creativity, a talent, a hobby, something that you're good at. And, of course, you need to go ahead and use a little bit of the public, the unknown. People, places, and things that you don't know. These individuals are going to basically bring the support and the help to basically get your fifth house up and running. And that's going to bring the practicality, which is the eleventh house. For me, use a little bit of that gift towards out there, and that's going to basically get you flowing and going on a day-to-day -day basis.